Greetings, greetings. I'm Go and Light, and I'm here to shed light. I just wanted to get on here because I received a message from Spirit. Now, um, when usually spirits give me a message, I get on here and I like to um, share um, the knowledge that has come to me. And what has came to me is um, a message for the new beginners in spirituality, um, the ones that's just awakening. Um, I actually had an experience like this, and I want to speak on it as well from my experience. Now, um, when you new to spirituality, it's going to be a lot of things that you feel automatically because everything is vibrations and frequencies and energy. And you basically have to know, excuse me, how to read them. Now, um, when you're awakened, you will have... Um, lower vibrating means that will try to lower your vibrations and you will do a lot of second guessing yourself and saying no maybe it's not me maybe it's me it's not them but um you really have to pay attention to your energy um that first gut feeling is that right feeling if you feel like that energy is wrong you don't like it um, whether you're in a group chatting with a lot of people, um, whether you with one individual and you reading that energy, um, you have those psychic abilities. You have those healer abilities. And when you have those healer abilities and instincts, what you feel and how you feel, if you feel like you was um, disrespected or... Um, someone is negative with you and uh, it's not a positive vibration they're sending to you, then that's what it is. So don't second guess yourself um, about the situation. Remove yourself away from the situation because um, now more than anything, we have uh, low vibrating beings. Okay. And us as empaths and healers we tend to try to get um everyone in and take care of everybody and make sure everybody is uh okay and all right i mean we already have enough going on day to day so um don't be afraid to say no don't be afraid to remove yourself from a negative individual because some of them are already aware and they know who you are. So they're really trying to get close to you to drain your energy and to get in your space just to make you uncomfortable, to make your vibrations low. And like I said, to suck your energy. Um, so it's best to pay attention to your surroundings. Um, pay attention to these type of people. Um, I made a video a couple months ago. Um, whatever you're putting out, you're putting that love out, you want to receive that love back. Okay? If you're not receiving that love, you're not receiving that kindness back, remove yourself. And that's what we have to do as healers because we're always giving that essence of love and we're being kind to ones, ones that don't, um, probably don't deserve us in their presence. And we have to stop that. So, um, that's why I'm, excuse me, that's why I'm here tonight to let you know, um, don't be afraid to say no. Don't be afraid to walk away because now, um, if you probably been watching me for a while, and I always speak of being on a seven uh, dimensional frequency, and that I like to stay high, and then I am going to stay high, and I will let no one lure me. Um, yes, I am, and we have to set boundaries. We have to do that, and we have to watch out for these energy vampires and energy suckers. Um, so, um, make sure that you're setting boundaries, 
make sure that you're paying attention to your surroundings and paying attention to the individuals that's around you, okay? Um, also, make sure that you're calling your energy back. If you're feeling drained, something is draining you. Um, if you're feeling sleepy, really sleepy and tired around a person, even a job, that job is draining you or individual is draining you. Ways to, if you have no other choice but to be at your job due to have to financially provi provide for your family, um, you can get you a lemon, cut it in half when you're going into the job or whatnot, and you have that lemon with you. Lemon is messy. Lemon is very strong, but it drains negative energy, so... Um, you can place that. You also can get you a cup of hot coffee. Okay. Um, also, with these things, you write your attentions. Uh, keep evil. Keep negative away. Don't let these people drain me. Okay. That will be the intentions. I will say if something negative is around my job and I'm getting sleepy, I'm getting tired all the time, there's something there draining me. Get a lemon. Cut the lemon in half. Okay. Um, and put your intentions in that lemon, and that lemon is absorb all that negative energy, okay? Um, also with coffee, coffee will do the same thing. Um, some people like to touch you, and when they're touching you, and if they're negative energy, they can place that negative on you, okay? And make you feel it, and you get, if someone ever touched you, and you ever felt like you just got bothered and irritated, it's because they're letting you feel that evil that wickedness they have on them okay i had a person do me like that and it made my whole body shake and i had to end up getting me a hot cup of coffee and it worked so um we have to be aware of these things okay and we have to um recharge our uh power um also with negative energy people talking negative all the time and talking about people and um negativity thoughts is coming from their mouth but they're going in your head and as they're telling you you're you thinking that as well because they're telling you that so you have to stay away from that as well okay um excuse me i have been invited to things and um groups and if i feel like because i'm a I'm a observer and I also have psychic abilities, but I might do it once. But if I feel it like I don't like that type of energy that is projecting, then I'll get rid of it. It's got to go because you'll always hear me speak highly on my uh, six to seven dimensional frequency. Okay. And vibrations. I like to stay there. Okay, um, it took me a lot to get where I'm at, so it's like, um, I balance them out good, you know, I'm not perfect, but if I feel like I'm getting low or irritated about something, I write it down, or, um, when my childhood me comes, because once you do shadow work, it's not always, it's not done, you still have that set side and that anger side and that childhood you still in you that you still have to tame and make sure that um you're not bringing that that wicked and that mean side everybody had that side okay and that anger and that feisty side so um when I get like that, I know for a fact when my childhood me, because she was a fighter and she was always ready to fight and she was already ready to cuss somebody out and she was ready to give what people gave to her back, okay? And um, so when I feel like she's coming out a little too much, I give me a piece of paper. I journal and write down what's irritating me, what's bothering me. Um, I light me a candle and I ask to release it. You know, I might even release it um, with my emotionals, I might cry. It's okay to cry. <clears throat> Excuse me, cry is a release of energy and a release of pain. It actually helps you to release negativity, you know, and to cope. Okay, it's a coping method and it's good. It's okay to cry. They teach us always to be strong, um, especially the masculine energy. Um, they never really 
is able to cope and to be a man and have feelings and cry and have emotions because they they teach him they're supposed to be so strong and they're supposed to be so masculine and it's not okay but our masculine energy needs so much help um for as they emotions and how to open up their heart space and love rather they've been hurt and healed but that's a whole nother subject <laughs> so um we all do and us women do too but um the first number one thing is we have to have that acceptance and accept what's wrong and know it's a problem and then get it healed and get it taken care of okay so we're not hurting and um once you're hurting, you're hurting others, and you might not even notice that you are, but if you hurt and you tend to do things and you tend to say things that will hurt somebody that can come into your life for good things, okay? So it's good to heal because if you don't heal, you will heal every you will hurt, excuse me, you will hurt everyone that's around you, and some people come to you to help you for good intentions okay um but the video is for us um you healers you new beginners to just watch the energy you project watch the energy around you and don't give out nothing you're not receiving back if anything come in your life let it come if anything goes let it go let it flow don't force anything just smooth silence uh happiness peace kindness love okay high vibrations okay for you all um i'm go and light and i'm always here to share some light i just wanted to get on here and let you guys know now make sure you subscribe to my channel you hit the like button any questions comments concern leave something at the description below until next time Peace, love, light, and also darkness.